Oh, you two welcome back to Shining Go X, and once again, I had to um, speed it up, narrate, um, do uh, narrate after recording since once again, once again, the sound got messed up, which makes me pissed off. So, uh, we're on route, now on Route 37, we're gonna fight. I actually had to make a quick trip to the Pokemon Center, and I was like, crap, damn, I forgot to heal, so I went to the quick trip to the Pokemon Center, and I'm, I'm gonna arrange them up so I can um, do stuff. So, um, they have a Jigglypuff and a Kefairy, and these were pretty annoying, so for certain I thought, um, I want to see if they can do it by themselves, except for, um, um, Yasin, because I don't know, no, actually, and once again, I'm, I was talking, and, yeah, I was thinking, like, wait, should I, where should I go to, and I'm going to Hooters, just follow me, which is kind of stupid, in my opinion, and I stopped seeing how much Roke did, I would call it crap, maybe, um, Rock Smash could do more, and I think it did. And pegged it a lot, and double side was kind of getting annoying because it, it didn't like it. Oh, wait, I thought I got five, not three, but um, it got stupid. I got um, fire in love, which is annoying. And I tried attacking Jiggly after Clefairy got that got killed. He he got um, um, fell in love on with Jiggly Puff, which is freaking annoying. I'll show you. See, right there, which is like, ah, oh, god damn it. I was like, what the fuck, and yeah. So I think that wraps up with that battle, and and, and weird name. It's, like, it's only like one letter difference, and it's like hey Anne, and they probably think, and wait, let's see it over again. How would it be like when they're older when it says, someone says Anne, like hey Anne, who are they gonna are they both both gonna turn, or something or who is the person referring to? Anyway, I was thinking, um, Blasty could be able to take out the drowsy with pursue, but didn't do um not as I expected. And I got to switch to free alligators in his bite, and obviously that's super effective. And I believe this strategy has dream reader as well. I'm judging from the one from Crystal. Yeah, I was looking at some guys' Crystal playthrough, and I was, I was, I was just assuming. Now, in Ecro Ecro Tech, oh, I don't know how to pronounce it. Anyway, that's Bill right there. Um, after he's done, after he's done talking, he'll go back to Goldenrod. If you go back to Goldenrod, he'll give you a free Eevee, which is pretty cool if you want Eevee. So, um, let's get done with this, um, just giving a um, quick claw to Hickory since he's pretty slow and he needs the quick claw more, in my opinion. So, I'm gonna save up here now. I uh, misclicked for some reason, because <laughs> I was pressing the button I set as B on my, um, keyboard. So, um, let's just move on to the next, nope. I was such a, I was looking at some stuff to see where I was supposed to go. Or what Pokemon and stuff were the kimono girls had. So, um, sorry, saw the mouse there. But anyway, um, I think the first one she had a flare around, that's why I brought in Hickory first, since obviously you can take out, it could possibly take out Flareon. But yeah, by the way, the, all the, all their Pokemon has, uh, are 25, level 25, and they're all evolutions. And after seeing that burn, I'm like, fuck, so cheap. But after seeing that critical hit, it gave me a little bit more hope. But unfortunately, Rock through. Oh, wait, I thought I missed. That was, must have been a different battle. And luckily, I was able to level up, which is kind of badass. And they all give you 500 Poke Dollars, which is kind of cheap, in my opinion. I think the next one has a. She has a Espion, I think. Yeah. That's why I love Grovile, since I thought Pursuit could do a big, a decent chunk. And, um. Confusion did a big, huge chunk, and after seeing that confusion, I, like, I really gotta leave. And I've seen after him myself, I knew I gotta get out there fast. So I mean, Garuga Mesh to um bite, tease bite. Kind of obvious right there. So doesn't half and seeing that flinch gave me more hope that I could win. And without getting screwed over. And when I paused because my phone's ringing, I freaking moved that damn emulator. I was like, Duh. sorry, a little bit, spit a little bit. Anyway, um, just healing on my team right now. I think this is a. Uh, Victorian, I think. Like, uh, Umbreon. That's why I still kept Hickory. Just to use the Rock Smash. Because I thought it would be able to um, do more. But it does like nothing. So I did a little kick. And it did a little bit more. He's been staying attacking. That's what, and this was when um, Rock's throw started missing. Which was making me angry and aggravated. And I started to scout a little bit by healing. To see a pattern. Because when you pursue the sand attack. Pursue the sand, and sand attack. That's seen like the pattern pattern so far. 
I just want to be sure so I try it a little bit more to see. And um ooh, finally hit, still like jack shit. And I thought it was sand attack, but it predicts that smart move right there, I guess. And um trying to get hypnosis off, but then I forgot about the sand attack, so oh, wait, no wait, forget about that. It only works if he's like using double team, not if something else happens. My mistake. <laughs> so thinking, thinking, oh pack. And does like and I forgot to hypnosis right there. And I still pack because uh, I don't know. And that's the way that's it. I think the next one has a Vaporeon. I think. I'm not entirely sure. I went to the quick quick trip to the Pokemon Center, by the way. And um so I switched Yasin with um Hickory. So it can go kinda good against Vaporeon, which it cannot really do do well, in my opinion. Since I tried using Zorb, as you'll see soon. And doesn't do a did less than I expected. And I was afraid of, of Ice Beam, but and I'm not, which pretty good for me. And I bring Hooter so it can hit so I can hypnosis off. It's a water gunning and not sure why it would do that. I use Tackle for some reason I guess. I'm not actually sure why. I said I use Foresight for some reason. Uh, my thought process is really messed up at the moment, so I'm gonna try hypnosising again. And um, that does so still good still do, does a big chunk, which was really good for me. And Peck almost kills, which makes me frustrated, which kind of made me frustrated, I guess. And I was thinking, like, oh, when will Grove out on Bleak Blade? Or oh, I forgot to mention, um, Noctowl doesn't learn a sidekick move by leveling up until level 41. That's Stamp Confusion, which is pretty messed up right there. Okay, by the way, this drop jam was a huge pain in my ass right now. You'll see soon. Um try to absorb just for the shits and giggles, I guess. And um so I switch out so they can't really do anything. Fing Garugo Mesh for some idiotic reason. And I think I could take a thunder shock and I think Hooters, which is really dumb of me now. After I thought And um right now this major saw war right now. Killing doing winter repeat over and over. And foresighting for some reason actually. Because that's still him thought process. A messed up thought process at the moment. And luckily hypnosis hits and I pre and I'm starting to use um use crap. Okay, start using tackle since obviously peck is not very effective and I want some neutral damage off. And I ended up getting pair hacks, which was make me really angry in in a miss, which made me more pissed off. And it misses again. I'm like, Jesus Christ, hit her already because I want this battle to be quick. And then shocks, and I get paralyzed. And I was like, God damn it! Uh, I mean, I've been, I was like smashing my tail, um, smashing my tail like this the whole time when I was recording. And that was, you do not want to see that. And it misses again. I'm like, Jesus Christ, I better live this hit. And I fortunately do, and able to finish up the, the damn Jolteon now. And, um,. And also, I think that's the last one. So, um, I made a quick short to Pokemon Center, which it, which we'll see soon. So, da, 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 da. yeah, that's what you saw. I started biking. I'm like, ah, oh, screw, I'm not gonna bike. And there are yeah, two couples are right there. By the way, um, there are these two couples. They're cool trainers or ace trainers. Forgot which one. And they both have two po two bug Pokemon. They had like a love couple, by the way, and um, they have a Volbeat and a Luminite Mice ma Miss. I don't know. Um, and they were somewhat of an annoyance. You go took like two minutes to beat them. But I was like really rushing my A button real fast at the moment, so. Um, Vayne Hooters and Guru Mesh, since they're a powerhouse so far, they can only think on a Pokemon here that can actually stand a chance, I guess. Not under leveled. And I'm like, gosh, it's a weird track. By the way, they both have a trap. Just a, just an FYI, actually. And uh, I'm pecking. I should gang up, gang up on one. I think that would have been easier, smarter move. I think. And um, neither of them kill. I'm like, telling, saying, saying the screw I was saying, how can not uh, white gun kill? The one does have it's stabbed. It's you're modest, okay? And you have rain boost. How can you not freaking KO it? That's just stupid right there. Ooh, yes, and evolved. Sweet. Um, and, 
I have more cereals that hit it, which makes me happy panda right there. So, yeah, you can beat love easily. So that's pretty much it, guys. So peace out.